What's up, guys? It's your boys, Wolkie, back with another creepy, scary, all around terrifying video from Goose Pimples themselves. We're going to be taking a look at their five plus one scary videos that you've never seen except one video. But we're going to be taking a look at all this stuff that's going to be creepy, terrifying, that will give you goose pimples. Not goose bumps, goose pimples. Pimples is the word. So with that being said, grab a chair, grab some popcorn as we watch this five plus one scary videos right here, right now. Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting that red bar icon down the bottom right. Smack the bell icon next to it so I do post videos like this one. You'll get that little ring notification as well as myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support you guys show on this channel. Keep doing what you guys are doing and we will continue to grow in 2022. Speaking of support, what I want you guys to do is stop the video for a second. Go over to Goose Pimples in the link in the description. Go over there. Give them some love, watch their videos, comment their videos, like their video. You know, you get the drift. Go over there, give them some love. They are a expiring YouTube couple, that a wife and husband that love the paranormal as much as you and I do. And they are almost so close to the 100,000 subscriber goal. And we want to help them get there to their goal as well. So go over there, give them some love. And then without further ado, let's watch the five plus one scary ghost videos. Or scary videos, not ghost videos, you've never seen except one. Let's take a look. Brazilian YouTube Rafael Firpa decided to conduct a paranormal investigation and stupid o'clock inside a local abandoned house. Did he just say stupid o'clock? Multiple visitors and locals have claimed to have witnessed shadow figures and strange noises coming from inside. Yes, so please. it goes about saying that nearby ghost hunters believe it to be a paranormal hotspot. Yes. Of course, in an attempt to find out if the claims were true, Raphael and his team packed their ghost hunting gear and brown spare pants to explore the yeah, abandoned building. Extra brown pants. But what they captured that night made them give up on paranormal investigations for good. Take a look. Light brown or dark brown? It's <laughs> 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 Eu te repreendo, ele não é seu nada. That's a bit eu te repreendo, em nome do Senhor Jesus. Cara, eu tô arrepiada. Nada prenda ele aqui. Tô arrepiada, cara. Nada prenda. Quando o demônio bate See, they say tirar, it goes Você não tem autoridade aqui. Você não Meu tem céu. autoridade aqui. Nenhuma. Vai embora. That's a bit creepy. Pior do céu. Vai embora. Você não tem... Pop can. Oh, we saw it. It like tapped. Pia impressão minha me chama antena. Apparently, doesn't like that brand of soda. Caramba, Bia. Passa. Espia. Eu passo. Em cima. Em cima, lá em cima. Eu repreendo todo mal. Todo mal caiu por terra. Just a bit aggressive, don't you think? Vai subir aí, tudo passa. Meu Deus, all over the place. Tem alguma coisa aprendendo ele aqui. Ele falou meu filho. He's my son. He's mine. They're like the Steve Irwins of Paranormal. There's a ghost over there. We're gonna go touch it. The night vision and general quality of the camera make it hard for us to see it. But with a naked eye, she spotted the antenna moving straight after an orb crashed into it. And suddenly, the can gets thrown down the stairs by it's very an subtle. Force. This could be one of two things. Either she saw the antenna with her naked eye and got genuinely shocked by it, or she's a great voice actress, and this was a pre-planned cue for someone to somehow knock the can over off screen. Even though we can't spot any signs of the fakery, strings, or edited audio to remove an off-camera leaf blower. But they also hear some bangs coming from upstairs. When they go to investigate, we can see a chair being pulled in the direction of the wall. 
There's no one there or anywhere exactly. to hide though. So if it isn't poltergeist activity, what is it? Can't wait to read your comments about this. Ghosties! Thing. To watch the video in full and more scary videos like this, make sure you check out Raphael Furfer's channel on YouTube. I think we're gonna have to go check him out! Number four, cat light reflexes. These guys were just proud cat pet like But overnight, they became a paranormal internet sensation. Really? It started when they were just trying to catch a video of their cat doing a trick. But when they read the comments a few days later, they were shaken to their core. So, like, did you see Let's what was in your one. house? Nina? Nina? Oh, yeah. cat sees it, bro. There's something coming out of that door. Do they have a pink tub? Did it just hiss? At the top of the bathroom door, some kind of shadowy hand was lingering for a I few seconds. I thought it was seconds. hair! First thought, it's somebody hiding inside the bathroom. Of course, right? Well, they did go straight inside to investigate, and there was clearly nobody and there. And the cat went right for but it. maybe that ghostly hand was computer generated. However, pets are believed to be incredible at sniffing out paranormal activity. So if the hand was a good piece of editing, why did the cat run towards the door exactly. right after the hand disappeared? Perhaps she sensed something wasn't right. They had a pink Some toilet of the viewers seat. pointed out that the door didn't open completely, but the pair were pretty quick to show us all that was behind the door. What Trash do you can. think, though? Real paranormal activity or something else? You be the Let judge. Let us know in the comments. I'm more also, scared for that pink toilet seat. if you want to see any updates seat. on this one or watch some more cat videos, make sure to follow Yadidd on TikTok. Number three, housemates. Taking photos is a great way to capture memories, but for Lauren Combs, <laughs> those pictures just captured what Jeez. started a never-ending nightmare. She first noticed something strange when a landlord was taking photos of the newly installed windows. Is that a There's face? someone, or something, either what reflected the on the window or inside French the toast? house. It looks like a doll, but she hates dolls and has none of them around the house. Oh. She tried to recreate it and inspect the area, but all she found were scratches in the window. And that surely doesn't explain the rest of the creepy activity she was about to capture in that house. Dog hears it. Goes outside, dog's like, where is it? Dog's looking. Nothing. Luna, come on. Dog was like, you heard the bell, right? Still going a faulty up. doorbell, right? Either that or a mouse chewing on the doorbell cords. But why does it only Most of them are wireless nowadays. There's no one with her. Or is there? I would have pooped my pants. I'm telling you what. Fake or accidental or not. Something my pants. really doesn't like her choice of books. And it's especially terrifying when you look at which ones hit the ground. Mostly books to do with ghosts, which is creepy enough, but one book shook her more than the others. A book minutes. called 19 Minutes fell, which wouldn't mean anything unless you listened to what was said on the TV right after the books were pushed. Listen carefully. Could that be a coincidence? Did you hear it? Straight after the 19 minutes book fell, the actor on live TV said the words 19 minutes. That's a little creepy. Something isn't right here, and it looks like there's something else trying to get her dog's attention too. What? Okay, he's in the cage over by the right corner. Something through a dish. That's our fine china! How dare you mess with it, get you ghost. Okay, she comes out. She's like, oh my gosh, my, my fine china. And there goes that piece of crap. Doorbell. I wonder why they have one dog out and one dog in. It is like one like, is naughty, I'm guessing. Excuse your French, excuse your French. Oh darn. It's not the witching hour.
Dog hears it, so it's not like it's fake. The spookiest thing about this clip is the dog's whimpers echoing throughout the house just before right before, yeah, fell exactly. On the floor. Footage also comes from house cameras, which means it would be pretty difficult to convincingly edit it. And the times on the screen match up perfectly to show there are no jump cuts or tricks. Exactly. For example, when the timer reaches exactly 28 seconds, we can hear the door closing, perfectly matched on both cameras. Some commenters were rightfully suspicious that she never showed the footage from the outdoor camera while the doorbell was ringing. She just but they soon quietened down when they saw the next clip she uploaded, because it was enough physical evidence to set even the most skeptical on edge. No one's ever happy. Is this the one where she gets her hair pulled? If that doesn't make you poop your pants, I don't know what does. It didn't get cut by the dog or the couch. At first she thought it was a cat jumping behind her, but when she turned around, the cat was nowhere to be seen. No and when string. You look at time, the witching hour. Many ghost hunters uh, and paranormal fans believe that between 3 and 4 a.m. Yes. is when ghosts tend to be the most active. But could it just be a dog pile of coincidences? Or is this a truly terrifying case? Of you be the judge. Haunted this house? is like. Let us know your thoughts and make sure to follow Lauren on her TikTok page. Oh, I'll go to check out Lauren. 99 to see what happens next. Let's go check her Find out. A scary video perfect for our compilation? Soon. Send it to hello at goosepimplesyt.com. You'll get a shout out if it's terrifying enough. Number two, Petty Poltergeist. Soon. Bumps and bangs are pretty easy to brush off as standard old house noise, even if they sound suspiciously like footsteps. But when every room of your house seems to have a life of its own, things become way more unexplainable. Just like in the following bunch of scary videos uploaded by the YouTube channel Crazy Adventures 1000. After hearing piano keys being hit in the middle of the night, voices coming from the kitchen when there was no one around, among other strange happenings, they decided to buy a few cameras to see what's causing the havoc. Here's the first piece of evidence caught on camera. There's things out there that make pianos do this. So I can't completely say this is paranormal. Although there is always the chance somebody is hitting the strings from under the keyboard, that doesn't explain the keys pressing down. It could also be a player piano, with someone secretly feeding in some sheet music before the camera started rolling. True. But with all the other evidence captured in this house, you'll soon realize that sheet music and secrecy becomes very unlikely to be the case here. Okay, laundry room. Door closes or opens? Is that necessary? Wants to do some laundry. The thing that makes this clip almost impossible to explain is the fact that the door swings in both directions. So, unless someone was running around the room wildly with a leaf blower, which you would have seen and heard, something must be moving that door. Ghost Not to team. mention, something had to have pushed that stuff off the side with some force. But there was nobody there. And it looks like this supposed poltergeist is active in every room of that creepy ass house. It seems like poltergeists are super dirty ghosts. Like they don't care what they pull out. They're going to make a mess. And then they don't clean it up. So I'm saying poltergeists are probably the most dirtiest ghost ever. Prove me wrong. <laughs> See? Has no care for fine china and utensils. The parent in me is like, and oh, I gotta do dishes. Mother! <laughs> if you take a really close look, 
Just between the toaster and the pan, it does look like there's an area that keeps moving every second, as uh, if the original uploader masked the area using a software masking tool. That is to true. However, why would he be messing with that area every single second, even when there's nothing happening? If he's standing if up there? If it was there? a software masking technique, surely he would only mask the area to hide something when stuff is moving. But what's the point of putting the extra effort of changing Unless the mask area? Unless he's standing up there or sitting up there. No then again, this clip was filmed ten years ago, and you already know that potato cameras never had the best quality visuals. They did not. So camera glitches like this were pretty common back then. But there's some more activity that you can't put down to camera okay. faults. Okay. Bouncing ball. It's just bouncing by itself. And it's not moving like left or right, it's just staying in one now, spot. at first glance, this could easily be someone pulling a string attached to the ceiling and the ball. True. But take a careful look at the movements. The first very movements start with the ball being pressed against the floor. Yep. Surely, if there were a string being pulled from the top, the ball would jerk upwards. It's being pushed. It, not the other way around. There's someone or something putting force on it against the floor for it to start bouncing. But see, it doesn't even show. Is, what the hell could it be when we can't see anyone touching it? Now, you're probably thinking that the poor camera quality is not helping the believability of the clips, and rightfully so. But what happens when it's not just the trick of the eye? It looks like it's pushing and it's not pushing or pulling. And that did the oven just turn on? This is a nightmare I've had. Like my stove turn on, or the oven turn on. Complete nightmare that I've had. It's a fire waiting to happen. Again, dirty ghost. Again, the doors opening and the cup falling on the floor could be a string aided by the poor video quality, but how on earth did the oven switch itself back on in 2012? Surely a timer would only switch it off, not on, for safety reasons. True. The activity then began to overflow into even more rooms in the house. Good luck sleeping in this bedroom, because it looks like something has claimed it. No, at the same time? The ghost on the left and the ghost to the right are like, ready, set, push! Watch the attitude, okay? Jeez Louise. I don't think I could have my bed next to a window like that. We've come a long way with video editing in the last 10 years. We have. But this doesn't look like something those potato cameras could pull off. But if that wasn't enough, their basement is just like the horror movies as well. Uh oh. If this is a poltergeist, it's also a really spoiled brat. <laughs> spoiled and dirty. And look at that boob tube of a TV. Number one, her ghost in the fog. Okay. Have your senses ever played tricks on you? Yes. Ever faintly heard things that made you do a double take? So did Cedar from Big Brother Brazil, but with a side order of something much more spine tingling. Look away, kids. What's this, ASMR? What language is that? Cida. Cida. Aonde? 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 
Quem tá chamando? É na casa? Ó. Oh. Vem cá. É você que tá chamando? É. Ai, que susto. Something was playing like a... Tava embaixo das coisas do Fabrício, lá das roupas sujas dele. Hum. Eu acho que ele se tá tão bem, não. I think she's gone nuts. Okay. Eu tava aqui arrumando roupa, né? Ai... Washing your clothes in the sink? So they think she's hearing things? So like, she's not. Like what? Her dead sister? sister was dead. She took her last breath to cancer that same afternoon, less than 30 minutes before the moment Cedar heard her voice, to be more precise. So if that was the case, what was Cedar hearing? What is she doing fair, with the mirror? It is a reality TV show. And ironically, that's where you can get some of the most staged content. True. However, she seemed genuinely taken aback when she could hear what she thought was her sister's voice, and heartbroken when she received the sad news. Could it really be her sister calling out from beyond the grave, or a little scripted pulling on the heartstrings for the small screen? Let us know what you think in the comments, but don't click off just yet. Bonus! Get comfy and prepare yourself for this week's spooky bonus video. Yes! Bonus. Mystery Inc. A huge shout out to our viewer Colin Lego for sending us this creepy clip via email. While on an early morning dog walk, Colin's pooch decided it was due time to pull towards the abandoned church graveyard, pooch? Scooby Doo style. Colin wasn't extremely keen on the idea, considering the sky was still on the brink of sunrise, but he thought it would be a laugh to record it. Uh. But those laughs soon turned into wet pants, not in the way you think. Take a look. Little puppy! And see something. Oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? Saffron. That's a good indicator. She does that when she sees someone. Like a like a human. Don't be doing that. There's no one there. That you see. Oh, she probably sees like 45 ghosts right there. When she sees another walker, she does bark. And there's no one here. This is the old part of the churchyard. Look at those stones. What is that sound? She's up for it. What's that sound, Seth? You put your leg under your lead, you Wally. <laughs> Yeah, bloody wanker. For a little dog, she's quite stubborn. Like a little spitfire. There's nothing over there. She's like, let's There's go look. Come on, let's go. You found a stick. What is that sound? It's very faint. Yeah, I know. Hmm. No, you're desperate to go that way, South. We can't go that way. There's no path that way. There's no path that way, probably. In the I heard it. Man's gonna pan around and see something. I have a feeling. Absolutely nothing. That's some green grass, though. 
Doesn't look yeah. like it's been cutting forever. What was that that went past the lens? Was it a bug? Safi the dog could sense oh, something was a up bug? from the get-go. She only does this when she can see somebody. Turns out she wasn't the only one who saw something that night. I was gonna say like breath. This could be but some fog, not that or cold even Colin's breath. But he was too quick to show us that the weather was extremely mild that morning. It wasn't cold enough for either of those. Mm. So what could it have been? The Scooby Gang called it quits Plasma? pretty quick after they saw that. Plasm. But not before they got one more spook. Uh oh. <laughs> it sounds like a small child saying little dog. Again, a huge thanks to Colin for sharing his footage with all the spook fest goers. That's pretty creepy. Ready for another spook fest? Click here to attend again. Yes! Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified every time you release a new spook fest. Do it! Thanks for watching. Stay, Stay. in the dark. So it seems like they have three people now narrating their, their content, but I definitely enjoy every single narrator. But again, I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think is fake fact fiction or real um definitely we're here for anything that scares us because we don't care if it's real fact fake or fiction we just want to know between the amongst us viewers if it is or not so make sure you guys do so make sure you guys go over to their channel give them some love and then make sure you hit that like button it is free it is easy and it's right there down below the video um and it definitely helps and don't forget to subscribe so with that being said I hope you guys have a great night we'll see you guys in the next video so keep it real keep it safe and as always, keep nerding on, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.